this is very interesting because initially it was the this is a Walmart owned company. The headlines were stating that Polygon and Walmart have teamed together. And in essence, that's exactly what this is. But to keep it more specific, they're partnering with Flipkart. And what this is going to provide is an e-commerce solution, which is still big, guys. So let's get some details. This came out on Friday. Polygon announced its strategic partnership with the e-commerce giant Flipkart to develop the foundation for blockchain e-commerce the center of excellence that's that's going to be interesting chief product and technology officer at flipkart said innovation is one of the main pillars for flipkart and we have consistently worked towards technology solutions to scale new frontiers and introduce new products and services they are delighted to partner with polygon for blockchain innovation uh nationally and internationally so this paragraph here is the most interesting because flipkart has been pretty busy when it comes to blockchain adoption they joined a edao earlier this year for media and entertainment purposes then they partnered with another company for virtual shopping experiences called flipverse now the brands that are going to be included in that include puma noise vip nevea and himalaya the point is though what we're seeing with this company is the incorporation of user monetization Basically, the next stage of retail that's going to come with Web3 is going to allow what well, what we're going to see is a lot more customer incentive programs, meaning the rewards cards that you get from like Sam's Club or, you know, when you buy certain things and you get points back on it. We're about to see an acceleration of that, and it's going to happen mainly through Web3 and as we get deeper into the metaverse and things like that. So the reason why this caught my attention so much is because I do have a background in e-commerce before I got on YouTube, tried the whole drop shipping thing. It was all right. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I came to understand how big of an industry that is and just how far far reaching it goes now, as opposed to two, three years ago. The majority of people shopping online, if you're buying something online, you're getting it from a Shopify store that you just don't recognize. You got to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll be able to see powered by Shopify. It's big brands and companies like that that will go to Shopify to build out a site and build out a uh, web page around a certain product to bring more attention to that product. That's what makes Shopify very important. And that's what makes blockchain projects like polygon making these types of moves that's what makes that equally important as well because they're tapping into a huge industry polygon is also working with starbucks now this story has been circulating for quite some time and again it's kind of the same principle here you have a big brand big corporation looking to get into blockchain for user monetization and digitization of their company the digitalization of a lot of these industries, guys, it's going crazy, okay? <laughs> it's really going crazy. But Polygon and Starbucks launch Odyssey Web 3. This is going to be, and I'm going to jump straight to it. So on beta currently, Starbucks Odyssey members can participate in a number of interactive activities called Journeys to earn digital collectibles, term journey stamps, and bonus points that unlock extra benefits. By early next year, members can alternatively also purchase limited edition stamps. These will most likely be in the form of NFTs through a built-in marketplace within the Starbucks Odyssey web experience. So Starbucks essentially built out this customer application that will allow them to receive rewards for interacting with the app and interacting with the brand. So this, again, highlights the new dimension to retail that Web3 is looking to create. Once you can identify your customer precisely, you can offer them all types of things. OK, and with the incorporation of blockchain, you just make that connection even quicker. As we've just seen, Flipkart, a Walmart company, Starbucks, their own big brand they are choosing polygon guys so i'm gonna start incorporating some more content around polygon i would hit on it here and there throughout the year but i was still learning about the blockchain previously 
before the merge, there was a lot of discussion about um, the need for layer two solutions once the merge happens. Well, the merge happened and nothing really changed. So it's just, uh, it's very interesting to see how this all turned out. But the reason I bring that up is because layer two projects like Polygon were kind of being thrown in that discussion of, well, once Ethereum does complete the merge, will these things be needed? And I was thinking about that too. But as we have seen, the companies are still going to Polygon. They're going directly to Polygon to build these applications. So Polygon's in a very powerful position, guys. Like I said, it's a project that I want to start talking a lot more about. It did not make the Elite Eight, which we will discuss later this month. Don't worry about that. However, the projects that are on the Elite Eight do reflect all industries you know you guys know how i like to keep it we will be keeping our eye on polygon and i'm gonna show you one more reason why warner music plans to sell songs as nfts with legend now this is close to me you guys know that prior to the youtube thing i was in the music game dropping those hot fire bars you know dylon if they call it but to see the music industry getting into web three getting into blockchain it's very significant guys because there was a big problem in the music business prior to blockchain and it was getting artists paid polygon blockchains like audius solana even and there's even an application on hedera where you can basically you put your music on these platforms as an artist right and now you have the ability to communicate directly with your fans. You can send music directly to them. They don't have to go through a third party streaming service, pay for this, that, and the third. It just, the introduction of blockchain into the music industry, it's a beautiful relationship. And I'm glad I get to see it. Let's jump into this piece of information. Warner Music Group partnered with Legend.io and Polygon companies to launch Legend Music. Through the platform, songs and other digital collectibles called Virtual Vinyl, it's a cool name, will be offered as NFTs. Legend will launch in January of 2023, starring with WMG dance record label Spinning Records. Aside from allowing fans to trade music ownership, Virtual Vinyl also supports live ticketing, rewards, and exclusive access to additional features. The music will be made available on the Legend platform and will also support Ethereum and Wax blockchain users. Now, that's big, okay? Wax is another um, commercial-heavy NFT marketplace, meaning that you will see brands like Marvel, DC, uh, Disney, coming to places like wax as a matter of fact i was in contact with an artist that is basically building out his entire media um there's a word for it when you're doing the cross media thing he's taking his anime and he's using the wax blockchain to basically spread it across different forms of media so we're talking not just graphic novels not just the series but we're going to have NFTs, we're going to have collectible items, there's going to be a video game in the works sometime in the future. So the NFTs that you get now, you'll be able to use in the game later. Those type of things are starting to happen now. And with music, it's even more interesting to see, guys, because like I said, artists are not getting paid. The one thing that has changed in the music business recently was that disconnection with the artists and their fans. You know, blockchain is going to fix that. And what music is going to look like afterwards, man, I cannot wait to see it, guys. But Polygon, again, as we can see here, through Warner Music Group, Starbucks, and Flipkart, mainstream deals. All right. <laughs>